We basically started Saving Survivors in 2012 to save every single animal that gets shot or that gets poached and is still alive afterwards, just to be able to keep those genetics in the bigger population. We've lost over 69% of the black rhino genetics over the last 50 years. Surely we don't want to go that same road with the white rhino, which we've already lost at least 7,000 over the last 9 to 10 years. don't see rhino nowadays that has not been dehorned and to see a, a big bull adult bull of about 40 years old with a real magnificent horn like that you don't see that often so it's it's a massive privilege to work on an animal like that and to see an animal like you know like this in the wild is, is you know nowadays is exceptional I think he was very lucky. It was only a flesh wound and it looks like he was shot in the left forearm. But it didn't seem to be affecting any uh, bone structures or vital structures like, uh, you know, tendons and so on. Private rhino owners are actually doing much better than government or national parks in protecting rhino. And the private rhino owners do not get the support that government gets and they don't have the technology you know, that these other people have. So it's exceedingly becoming more and more important to support the private rhino owner because that's where you enable them to protect the rhino on the ground. This is a call for action, please, to support people like us that are then supporting private rhino owners to actually treat and look after magnificent specimens like these. <laughs>